Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over five terms, terms, slang that I've learned ever since learning how to ride a motorcycle. Some of them might surprise you because they surprised me that I didn't even know what they were. But anyways, let's get into it. So the first term that I had to learn was MSF. I would hear in people's videos, MSF, MSF course, um, and I didn't know what it was. Um, so I had to actually look it up. So MSF is the Motorcycle Safety Foundation. Um, and the reason why I didn't know about it was because here in Ontario, we don't have MSF. Uh, we do have motorcycle courses, uh, which are a little bit different than what they have in the States. So in Ontario, you do a written course and then you get your M1 and then you do a motorcycle course and that motorcycle course automatically gives you your M2 where you're able to ride a bike and uh, insure it. And then you do another motorcycle course um, and that's when you get your full motorcycle license. Uh, so we do have motorcycle safety courses here in Ontario. They're just not called MSF courses. So the second term I had to learn was Jigsaw. Now, Jigsaw, when I heard that, I thought someone was talking about a really crappy bike because it sounded derogatory. <laughs> um, and it was uh, when I was actually in my motorcycle safety course when um, one of the guys there was talking about how he upgraded from a Ninja 400 to a Jigsaw 650. And I started laughing because I thought it meant he had a crappy bike. But it was another guy in the course was like, oh, uh, Jigsaw 650, that's a great bike. So I had to go and look it up. Jigsaw, Suzuki GSX. So the third term, which is probably going to really surprise a lot of people, is the term hog. And if you're like me, you're thinking, I know what a hog is. That is a hog. But no, that is what hog stands for. Harley Owners Group. So my neighbor actually gave me that banner. Um, his company printed them off for some kind of promotion. He doesn't remember which for. Um, so technically I am a part of, not technically, I am a part of the Hog um, Harley Owners Group. Um, when I bought my bike, I was excited. I gave my $60 for the year to sign up. Um, and then when it came to, I haven't done any of the rides that they put on or anything like that or gone to anything that's promoted by the Harley Owners Group. Um, and then when it came time for renewal, I got uh, the fear of missing out, the FOMO, and I renewed. Uh, so for me, the Harley's owner group, I pay $60 a year and I get a magazine and uh, access to an app that um, I can't even log into anymore because they don't recognize my credentials. But hey, it is what it is. The fourth term is actually a two for one and that's high side and low side. High side and low side are actually just terms describing what type of crashes you might have. The easiest way to describe it is low side is when the bike comes on to you and you're underneath. High side is when the bike hits and you go over top. So term number five is a squid. And what is a squid? I'm not sure. I think it means a really good motorcyclist. <laughs> 